Friday night. We come out from about 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock. We got teams from 8 to 10, all 11 to 14, 15 to 19, each age group. Uh, so there's about 24 teams total. We usually play out on the street, so we'll roll out portable hoops. We'll, we'll spray paint um, course on the on the street itself. The league travels from block to block within the neighborhoods of La Villita, or South um, Little Village and North Lawndale. And so within those neighborhoods, there'll be teams put together and they'll travel with us from one block to a different block each week throughout the summer. I've always had an idea to do like uh, soccer on the street the way b-ball on the block does. So um, this year I'm privileged, me and another guy named Darian are the directors for soccer on the street, which is a new addition to b-ball on the block. So as you can see, we can share, we share the same block that we close off and do half basketball, half soccer. I've kind of been with B-Ball on the Block as a volunteer for the past two years. And B-Ball on the Block approached me about starting a soccer thing, which is something that I'd wanted to do for about um, five years now. But it was just, it was never possible to do it on myself. I never, was never connected with the right people. And when the opportunity presented itself, um, it sounded like a great idea. I like to play soccer, that's my passion. I, I, um, currently I'm coaching soccer and I'm also refereeing. I mean, I like to see people play soccer. I mean, I know it's, it's for a good cause, so I really like it. Yeah, I just help set up, tear down, I get to play and mingle with kids. It's a great opportunity just to, uh, for outreach. We are looking to provide something safe and fun for the kids during the summer um, to just promote a peaceful, healthy activity and um, to have a good time. I grew up in this neighborhood. I've seen a lot of violence and um, poor choices. And then just getting older, you see that there aren't very many opportunities to escape those places. It's a good way to just to get involved with some extracurricular activities or just uh, to use your gifts instead of throwing them away. In La Vita, everybody likes soccer. Once somebody sees something open for soccer, you're like, oh wow, like I want to play. And I think it's a way that we can communicate. It's a good way to unite. Um, we do it across gang lines. We do it from uh, across neighborhood lines. So it's a good way to, to bring some unity to hopefully help kids uh, see that these kids that live a few blocks away from me aren't as different. A lot of the, the gangs, the violence, um, it plays off of this idea that these people on this side of the neighborhood think they're better than us um, or that they're somehow different than us. We can play together, can have fun together. And so hopefully we'll try it. we're creating that environment. You know you're safe, you know there's nothing to worry about. We have food, we have uh, nice people working here too. So it's just, I think it's a blessing for the community. I'm, I'm definitely taking it as a blessing for myself as well.